Heart sprinkle. Hey everyone, it's Crystal and welcome back to Heart Sprinkle. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bee hook stand or you can also use it as a pen holder. Here are the materials you'll need. A wooden spool, two sized discs, clay, super glue, a brush, needle tool, blade, acrylic paint, and glaze and your bacon bond. First you will need your super glue, the disc and spool and you need to glue that onto the center of the disc. I already have one put together here and this is what it looks like. Then you need to super glue those two onto the bigger disc. Make sure it's centered. When it's dry, you paint the bigger disc area on the sides and you can do the bottom as well. It gives it a cleaner look. After making the base of this project, the rest of it is just making all the parts and prepping each piece before you put them all together. Here I am starting with a darker green for the base. And you can use Bacon Bond here to glue it better onto the wood part. Then I'm using yellow to cover up the spool. You kind of shape it like a little hill for the green part and then the spool. Just cover it up because you're going to make a snake of yellow like this. It's kind of going to be long and a little big because you only need about three rows. You put it around the yellow area there and leave the top exposed because you will need to make a big disc to cover up the rest of the spool. Use Bacon Bond to make sure you glue that down over there. And then I used my needle tool to make the hole a little bit bigger. I tested it out on a hook as well. And I smoothed things out here. A quick tip for you guys, I'm sure you already know if you've been a clay artist for a while, but I just used alcohol to clean up my yellow. Now to the different parts. I am making seven bees, so I made seven yellow balls and turned them into seven cones. And I sized up the head next to the cones to make seven heads. And here are some snakes. I made seven. <laughs> Um, and the seven little balls for the stingers. I then thin out the snakes a little bit here in a minute you'll see. Um, because depending on the size of your bee, you will need to thin it out for the stripes. And it's better to have plenty of the parts instead of having to stop and redo that same part again. This is the part where you're going to make a whole bunch of clay balls. Here I'm making the wings and you're going to need 7 sets or 14 of them. I'm making 5 flowers so I will need the petals to be 25 little balls of white and a whole bunch of 2 different shades of green so you can kind of layer you know, and make it pop a little bit. And all these you need to turn into this sh shape, the teardrop that's flat for all the leaves, the petals, the wings, and you also need five little yellow centers. They're just going to be just a ball though. Here I'm showing you how small the little wings are. And you just, like I said, make them into small little teardrop shapes. I'm using a needle tool. This one I made myself. It's one of the needles I had for sewing, but I put a handle on it and I'm just putting the detail of the leaves on there. I slowed it down for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Once you have all your pieces prepped, you can start putting them down. Now you can use Bacon Bond to put the, on the leaves but I didn't use any of that. I did forget to mention that you need one decent sized ball depending on how big you want your entrance to be for the front of the hive. And I like to have plenty of leaves because like I made too much for this project but having more is better because it it kind of it's horrible whenever you have to stop in the middle of the project because you didn't have enough of those. 
Now keep in mind how many flowers you have and you kind of, I'm kind of making like little flowers with the leaves themselves because the flowers will be in the center so I'm like fanning it out like a flower. So this is what it looks like. And here I am starting to place the flowers where I need them to be. Now all your parts kind of get a little bit bigger because you have to squish them down a little bit and they kind of spread so keep that in mind when you are making each part. Here I have all the flowers down and the fun part is placing all the little bees which is my favorite, the little honey bees everywhere. And you can place them randomly. Here I'm just cleaning up the flowers with more alcohol on a q-tip. I always make my clay a little dirty somehow so I wait till the end to clean it all up because if you clean it up right away you're gonna make it dirty again if you're not done with the project. So here I am adding the wings carefully placing them making sure that they're all like touching some sort of clay so it stays and then we're gonna bake it. Follow the baking instructions on your clay package. Everyone's instructions um, brand wise is different. And after that, you just glaze it. I signed the bottom as well. And here's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you liked it. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you do make one of these, please tag me on Instagram and use hashtag craft with sprinkle. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.